Hi everyone, it's Mary Jo from Enchantress Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. This is our Cancer, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or even if you have three or more personal planets in Cancer, which is a stellium reading for December 2018 for all of our Cancer-centric people. Okay, and if you want, you can watch the other videos if you know where your moon, sun, or ascendant is, or if you have a stellium and if it's in another sign. Those videos are up also for 2018 December, and they may resonate with you. Okay, so let's see what we have for the energy that's evolving Ooh, in December. I see two moons, and I think right away, because Cancer is ruled by the moon, and it is our loving, nurturing energy of emotions okay and pleasure so look we have eight of cups alrighty so we have a full moon here uh, so we just had the full moon in Gemini and that's the mental realm so things you've been thinking about maybe you've been thinking about something that no longer gives you great pleasure and joy and with the eight energy you're looking to manifest and bring to ground this emotional situation which no longer gives you pleasure and joy you're looking for something more and it is about ascending. So you're either tired of this relationship with this person that you're in love with or involved with, or even tired of the way they've been treating you. There isn't pleasure there. And you're looking to go beyond that. You're looking for something more to um, either get away from this person, end the relationship, or somehow grow it some other way emotionally. And it could also be that you are growing emotionally and you're realizing this now. It's time for some maturation or evolution of who you are and the way you feel about something or someone in your life. Although the cups are all upright, they once served your purpose greatly and it was something you had great joy in. It's the pleasures, the sensual pleasures. I feel loved, I feel appreciated, I feel bliss, I feel joy in whatever this person, place, or thing was. But, alas, we all change our energy and the things that we wanted or liked maybe 5, 10, 25 years ago no longer do it for us. We're on to something new. So for the cancer energy during the month of December, it looks like there's been some illumination here. You had maybe an epiphany that you're realizing, yeah, I'm just not getting what I want and need in my life emotionally anymore from this. And I want something else. Now you have your staff in front of you. You're ready to walk on. And you see there's calm waters here, but if you look, there's a little bit of a crashing here. So even though it might be a little bit emotionally, well, I don't want to say disruptive but it could be something that even though you want something more it still hurts a little bit to let go of this person place or thing and you're ready to move on this could even be if it's not a love relationship it could even be something with a job something you still love to do like you maybe used to make soaps or candles or you have a YouTube channel um, or you loved riding your your bike and going out on runs whatever it was Maybe you've just lost the excitement about it and the joy that it used to bring you. We all change. So with this being said, it's like you're ready to start a new adventure in your life, something of new pleasures, something else that you could fill your vessel with because you are the vessel. And that's what we do in this lifetime. The North Node and the South Node. The North Node is our Dharma, what we want to fill our vessel with. Because the south node is what has already been achieved in the last lifetime or most recent lifetime or early environment of your lifetime. And you've, you've got an ease of flow with that. And since the nodes have shifted into your sign, dear Cancer, the north node is in Cancer, the south in Capricorn, we know that it is about us filling our vessel with that which we need magnetically to be pulled toward like north, that magnetic needle in the compass to grow us. So you may be feeling this depending on where it is in your chart, Cancer. That is what you feel like you're being pulled towards something else. And you don't understand why. You don't understand what. You just feel activated to change. 
And that could be very well what's going on for you and anyone, really, because we all have cancer in our chart somewhere. And even if there isn't a planet or asteroid there or a luminary, it, it's still activated in some way for us to grow. And cancer is about love, nurturance, protection, feeding people with love. You know, many Cancerians are in the food industry or find pleasure in cooking for others. That's how you nurture and love. But also, Cancer is the fourth house of loving, nurturing, protection. Your roots, your ancestry, your early environment, or the mother, or whomever represented the loving, nurturing person in your life, even if it's a grandmother, an uncle, an older sibling, okay? But this is activating you with this illumination, this epiphany, this clarity, emotionally, I'm done with this and I'm ready for something else. I'm going to feel it's very celebratory. Yes, the holidays are coming for people who celebrate Christmas or Kwanzaa or Hanukkah or whatever holidays, or maybe you're going to a wedding or there's an engagement, the birth of a child. This is a celebration. Again, we have a full moon. So this could also be coming into the uh, full moon for this month that we'll be experiencing or off the energy from the Gemini full moon. But this is a time to celebrate, and it is, again, emotions. You're feeling overjoyed. You may be um, getting together with family and relatives that you haven't seen in a very long time where you feel reminiscent and joyful and blissful. You're raising your cups to a toast. That is symbolic, okay? But even if it's not something like that, this is a coming together of maybe like-minded people to create something here because the three is highly creative energy, but it's something nurturing. So maybe you're coming together with a couple of other people, friends, family members, and um, you're, you're, being, you're being offered an opportunity to share something of yours, quality and love, a service to others that will be successful. And for some, it is the two progressing to a three can be the birth of a child or announcement of the birth of a child, or it could be an engagement or like I said, a wedding. But this is definitely a period of joy this month. You have some um, emotional bliss coming on. So I hopefully you're going to have some nice times with family and friends. Or if it is a relationship, um, you're moving on from it, but you're happy and you're joyous. And if it is a growing of this relationship and a healing, that's even beautiful too. All right, but it's a result of the choice you make with that three energy. Okay. Oh, another cups. Look, we have the wish card. The nine of cups talks about the thing you, you have wanted in your life, or for many of us, it's more than one thing. And this is about every phase in your life being blessed. Your home, your love life, your vocation or trade, your family, your friends, your health, um, your mental well-being, anything that love, bliss, and joy can infuse. This is beautiful for you, Cancer, definitely. And with the nine, we know things end, so things begin. So they might be coming to this end here with this eight of cups and celebration. We progress to the nine where you're happy. You changed your operation, mode of uh, operation, person that you were with, health regimen, the way you treat others, the way you allow others to treat you, okay, in the way you value yourself. We have the little bee here, and we know how bees work in tandem with community and what they build. They're quite wonderful architects. So what are you creating with this joyous time? Fill all of those cups. Make your wishes. Put them out to God's source universe, your higher self, whatever you call it, and knowing that it's a time of things from the past ending that were pleasurable in your life to opening up to new things that are joyful and blissful and pleasurable. Concentrating in a loving, positive way. Maybe you're bringing that new man or woman into your life or that child or new home. A sense of well-being, a healing of your body, your psychic abilities, your inner divination, your growth, your evolution, and what you're sharing with others or with yourself in this life. But nice, all these cups for our water sign cancer. Then we have some fire here with the five of wands. So you're really looking to collaborate. So some of you are getting together with other people um, and you're all voicing your ideas and inspirations. And this is a lot of energy coming up at you. And I'm not saying they're fighting. Uh, there could be some disagreement with the ideas that you have or could be a little bit of like you're all putting yourselves out there and you're challenging each other. But it could be friendly competition 
or a friendly challenge, like you're putting yourself out there to meet someone new and you're on the internet, or you're going speed dating, or you're putting yourself out there um, for a new job, a new vocation, a trade, changing your major in school, embarking on a new career, moving, you know, and this is all new energy around you. Five is very dynamic. It's highly dynamic, very creative. We have this three and now this five. But this is something you're impassioned about in work or a social situation. Now, for some of you, it could be some quarreling going on or disagreement. Uh, we want to be careful it doesn't get very heated, especially with the wands. It could be highly agitative and you got to be careful. You can burn someone with your words or they burn you. So try and be the diplomat on the outside looking in. Take in everything. Make your stand here. Listen to what they have to say, and you could take away with it whatever you want or not, because really, it doesn't matter what other people think, because that's none of your business. You can listen and not engage, or you could put your two cents in there and voice how you feel about something passionately or your desires uh, without getting into confrontation. But for many of us, it is definitely a time of saying, this is who I am. This is what I'm doing, being my authentic self. Whether you agree with me or not, whether you embrace me or not, whether it's a meeting a new person and it's their family or friends or people in your family are telling you, don't move to that state or don't change your job, you're crazy. Oh, stay with this guy. He's the best thing that ever happened to you. This is all ch chatter, okay? Even naysayers, it's not about what they want. This is a time for you to really stand strong, balance yourself. Looking to the past isn't going to help you right now unless it's something you need to let go of. And you don't want to be anxious about the future. So stand your ground. And like I said, put your ideas in there. Without being aggressive, you could be assertive and bold in this and very dynamic. And you know, Cancerian people can be very intense because they have this deep emotion. Uh, but with all this fire energy, I feel like it's more creative and it's more ideas. Everybody's throwing their hat into the ring, you know, and many, many different ideas of, on the fire. And it's something that you could all collaborate and work toward for a common outcome that's beneficial to all of you if you can keep yourself from becoming uh, explosive in the situation or letting it get out of hand. So you want to take a nice, grounded, stable look at this because there's a lot of creative energy around here. There's a lot of empowerment floating around, a lot of life, a lot of energy, vitality, passion, vim, vigor. What are you creating here with these people? And again, you're outside of the ring. So you might find these people are not your people. This is not your tribe. Or you can find very much you want to enter that tribe. Everyone's going to be different as this is a general reading, dear Cancers, okay? So that's what we have for the growth energy for December for our Cancer-centric people. And I want to pull an oracle card for you from the Enchanted Map. Oracle cards are so beautiful. And then I'll just read what it says. We, when I pull a card, if you see something in the imagery that stands out to you, check that, okay? Because it's symbology. And if it's something that stands out and you don't know why, you could always Google what does this image symbolize, you know, or mean. Let's see. Any growth energy, any added help or guidance for our dear Cancerians for December 2018. Let's see what we have for our Cancerians. Oh, let's see. What's coming out? Anything? All right. Making a choice number 30. Ooh, this looks like the Indiana Jones, remember? In um, what was the Holy Grail, when he had to walk across to get to the other side where the Grail was, and he couldn't see the way in front of him, and he just grabbed his chest, took a deep breath, and took a leap of faith and landed right on the path. And he threw the pebbles out, and it, it kind of lit the way for him. That kind of reminds me of this. It's like a little scary for you. You're kind of clutching your heart there and like, oh my God, what am I going to do? And look, we have this three with a zero. The three makes anything exponential, the zero makes anything exponentially greater. So this is highly creative energy. Maybe it's a big choice for you that you need to make and you don't know which way to go. Both of them show promise of a new life. But if we knew what was on the other side of each one of them, then it might make it easier to choose. But you know what? Sometimes it makes it even more difficult to choose. So with this, let's see what they're saying from making a choice. Now, sometimes you're feeling pulled to one way or another. Close your eyes and, like I said, clutch your chest and really take that deep breath to find which is true to you. And the first thing that comes into your ear is your inspired thought. 
other times if it helps make a list of pros and cons. So it says here we're making a choice. You're required to come to a decision now. You're faced with a dilemma or a fork in the road and must make a conscious choice regarding the next right action. Whatever that choice is, you must take responsibility for it, yet you needn't be afraid. You may not have all the answers right now because the way ahead can't be known until you've embarked and traveled a few steps. Trust your intuition, dear Cancerians, very intuitive people, right? Ask for a sign from spirit and you will be led on the right path. If you remain conscious and aware, your choice will be the right one at this time. Life is always about learning. Success lies in choosing consciously, guided by intuition and spirit. And you are the first of the mystical houses. Very sensitive, very empathic. Trust that inner divination. Trust that light to guide you. And know that the choice you make at the time that you do will be what's best for you. Even if you change your mind down the road, how could you be wrong at that time? Because at that time, that's where your heart was, your mind was, and where you had evolved to. So thank you very much for watching, and thanks for a great year. Um, if you celebrate the holidays, whatever holidays, I wish you the best. And even if you don't celebrate, I wish you a great December. And thanks for a great year, and thanks for subscribing. And like I said, the other videos are up if you want to check them out, if you know where your moon or ascendant is or stellium is, if it might give you some added help or guidance and peace. Thanks again for watching, and as always, I wish you the best.